On this episode of Ask Dan, I'm going to give you a status update on Project Andromeda, whether or not you can make a phone call from the HP NVX2 tablet, and what's the deal with PWA and UWP? Will Microsoft replace its own apps? I'll let you know. All that and more on this episode. Stay tuned. What's the latest news regarding the Andromeda device? Should we hold off on buying a new phone, or should we make the jump to a new device? So it's been a few weeks since we talked about Andromeda, the rumored Microsoft foldable Surface device. That's also an OS, so that's Windows Core OS. Now, we do expect this to still happen sometime this year. And I know a lot of people have questions here because Microsoft has had a lot of changes over the last few weeks, specifically with their reorganization with the Windows division. So the question you may have is, has Microsoft now canceled this project? After all, they seem to be kind of fans of that. But no, this is, believe it or not, the new era with Microsoft. And they don't cancel projects that have started in the last few years. They've canceled old things that weren't working. And that's an important distinction here. But no, I've actually seen some aspects of this OS running. Specifically, I've seen some apps that run on dual screens. It's actually really interesting to see. Uh, we've seen this stuff very recently. We don't have anything more to share publicly on this yet, but as we get closer and more information comes out, we definitely will. So the second part of this question is, should you wait for this mythical device or just buy something now? Now, I'm always a little uncomfortable telling people wait for something that's not really out yet. Uh, we don't know how good this is. We don't know the pricing. We don't know the full feature specs of it. We don't know if it's gonna fit into your lifestyle. If you need a phone right now, I say go get one. There's no reason why you need to wait indefinitely for this device that may or may not come to market or may or may not fit your needs. Now, we expect more information coming out in the next couple of weeks, the next couple of months, and hopefully then you'll be able to make a more informed decision. Will it be possible to make a phone call from an always connected PC, such as the ARM-based HP Envy X2? So this is a really fun question and we're asked it a lot. Now, as far as I know, no, you cannot make phone calls with the HP Envy X2, use a tablet as a giant phone. I know it would be kind of cool. Now, technically Microsoft could probably make this happen, but they had to put a lot of engineering work into it. There's a lot of stuff from Windows 10 Mobile that's not in the full Windows 10 OS. It's all the telephony stuff, SMS, everything that's needed to connect for GPS, the carriers, all that stuff. Now, I expect that to change with Windows Core OS where that stuff will be available and all this stuff will be shared amongst the OS and Microsoft and its partners can pick which components they want to put into a device. But no, as far as I know, you can't do this. In fact, with the Surface Pro LTE I reviewed recently, we couldn't do this either. And sure, there's the phone app and the SMS app that's built in, but they don't actually do anything. Even if you took a, your regular phone SIM, dropped it in there, say so it can do voice, it doesn't do anything. Like I said, Microsoft may change that in the road, but I don't expect it with this full version of Windows 10. Like I said, expect it for Windows Core OS going to 2018 and 2019. Now that the OnePlus 5T is no longer available in the US, what Android phone would you recommend for a Lumia 950 XL user? So this is a really good question. It's always tough to answer since there are so many Android devices coming to market. And this user is a 950 XL user and they're inquiring about the Pixel 2 XL or should they wait for the OnePlus 6? Now the Pixel 2 XL is a fine device and is one of the best cameras on the market. Huawei's P20 Pro is also one of the best now on the market too, and there's some trade-offs there in terms of that device. OnePlus 6, we don't know everything about that. It's rumored to have a Snapdragon 845, improved camera and all that's jazz, but expect to hear about that in the coming weeks. If I had to pick one phone though, it'd probably be the OnePlus 6. If you haven't seen my previous video on Android phones, what I recommend, I have the Pixel 2 and I also have the Razer phone. Those are both great devices, but they sort of go off in their own direction and have their own pros and cons. Where the OnePlus for me has always been the most balanced. It does a little bit of everything very good. So if you can, hold off for a couple weeks for the OnePlus 6 and maybe I'll check it out too. And you can follow me on Twitter and I'll share my thoughts about it. Is Outlook.com now a progressive web app? And do you see Microsoft replacing the Mail UWP app with this one in the near future? All right, so if you haven't seen our previous video regarding progressive web apps, go check that out first. I do a really in-depth dive about what the technology is and how it'll affect Microsoft. Since then, we've also done a hands-on with the Twitter PWA, which is a really impressive app. So will Microsoft replace its own app with a progressive web app? No, I don't see that happening at all. Don't forget, Microsoft doesn't want to replace UWP with PWA 
which is such a mouthful. What they really want to do, though, is give more options to developers and users through the store. And one way to do that is you open it up to PWAs. So UWP, the Universal Windows Platform, is still a much more powerful system. It allows a lot more native app development and a lot more integration with the OS. It's going to have better performance. And that's the route Microsoft would ideally want everyone to take. The idea with PWA, though, is you give a website a little foot in the door into the store. They can see then their user downloads and they want can take it to the next level, which is making a full native app. But I still really like that mail app and Microsoft has no reason to get rid of it. They've been putting a lot of effort to make it one of the best apps on the platform and PWA just isn't quite there yet. So that is it for this week's episode. Remember, if you have a question, use hashtag AskDanWindows on Twitter or use our forums at windowscentral.com and you can ask me there. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care, everybody.